Hello friends, you are watching Arudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Hello friends, today I'll show how to solve a simple engineering mechanics problem using ANSYS mechanical ABDL. This is a part using uh, different types of loading is applied on that. So left hand side is fixed and right hand side it is supported on a ruler. On the beam different types of loads are applied. Initially at location C 50 kN load is applied it is a point load and at the right 50 kN point load is applied and in between the span A to B a uniformly distributed load is applied. So while solving this problem using ANSYS mechanical epidural, we will use the unit as Newton and millimeter. So 25 kN per millimeter will be converted as 25 Newton per millimeter. Okay, let's get started. ANSYS mechanical epidural is open right now. First of all, we have to start with preferences. Structural analysis. Okay, next one it will be preprocessor. Element type, add, edit, delete adding the element it will be beam and two node 188 element okay close it next one we have to apply material properties material models structural linear elastic isotropic isotropic means material property will be the same throughout all directions modulus of elasticity is 2e5 that means 2 multiply 10 to the 5 newton per millimeter square and Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3 okay done next one we have to apply sections the common section beams common sections let's provide the breadth equal to 200 millimeter and height equal to 300 millimeter okay so section area is provided next one we have to apply modeling we will start modeling create key points in active coordinate system now let's see the drawing we have to create four different keynotes to be provided total span of the beam equal to 14 meter right so we have to create four different key points at initially at 0, zero location then another will be at 5000 millimeter away and that will be 10,000 millimeter the finally it will be 1400 millimeter away so four different key points you have to create okay first one you are getting at origin so zero zero we need not write automatically it will be written it will be applied first one created next one will be at 5000 millimeter away apply second one will be 10,000 millimeter away applied and the last one will be 1400 millimeter away okay so four nodes have been created we have to connect these nodes in the form of lines and these lines will be divided into different uh, elements first lines straight lines select those lines all lines have been selected okay next one we have to mesh it after meshing different nodes will be created in between different elements so machine we are starting size controls manual size lines all lines we want to divide the number of divisions elemental divisions we want total length of the bar is equal to 1400 millimeter so we want to divide this one into 140 numbers of divisions each one will be 10 millimeter 140 numbers of divisions okay is divided Next one we have to mesh it, mesh, lines, can select peak all, all lines are meshed, right. Next one we have to apply boundary conditions. Boundary conditions will come from that solution. Analysis type, new analysis, it is a static structural analysis. Next one, define loads. Apply structural displacement on key points. 
Now here it is very important things that we have to see the drawing. We have to apply the support at A and B. So better to see the keepers and then we should apply our supports, right? We can see the key points plot key points you have to select the points number one number three okay now here it is very important to see that it will be restricted to move in the ux uy and uz displacement of this x y z is zero and by the same time rotation of x and y is also zero it will be only allowed to rotate along z direction okay done next one you have to apply some load we see the loads point load should be applied point load of 50 kilo newton and 50 kilo newton both should be applied at the location c and at location d then let's apply force moment on key points we select the nodes or key points selected okay we have to apply load in the y direction a for y is selected and it is as it is in negative direction it is in the downward direction it will be minus minus 50,000 okay two loads of 50 kilo newton is applied on the beam next one we have to apply some uniformly distributed load of 25 kilo newton per meter if we change this unit it will be 25 newton per millimeter that will be applied from a to b okay now we have to apply uniformly distributed load so it will come from pressure on beams better to select the lines plot lines let's see the drawing again it should be applied from a to b right so let to select by box we can select okay load key number is 2 25 to 25 as the value is not changing it will be 25 to 25 okay so uniformly distributed load is also applied right next to run this solve current ls if everything is right it will show solution is done okay solution is done so our solution is okay we can get the results right now so we can see our results from post processing it will be coming from general post processing and first of all we have to create the elemental table define table nothing is defined we have to add it first of all we want to see that bending moment diagram bmd and by scrolling we have to come down to the lower one by sequence number it will be smisc3 apply again bending moment diagram bmd By sequence number SMISC, it will be 16. Apply. Next one, what do you see? Shear force diagram SFD. By scrolling again, by sequence number SMISC, it will be 6. Apply. Again, finally, SFD. By scrolling, by sequence number SMISC, it will be 19. Okay, let's see. Now that to be updated and closed. Our result is ready. You can see it from plot results. First of all, see deform shape, deform plus undeformed shape. We we'll see that means the change drawing plus original drawing. By the application of force or load, the object will be or the beam will be deformed. We want to see the deformed drawing and by the same time the original drawing also. Okay, let's see this one. It is actually in 2D format. We can see this one in 3D format also, like flat controls, style, size and shape. Display of element should be on. Okay. Now this is 3D view. We can see this one in isometric way. So the blue one is deformed drawing and the white one is original drawing, right? We can animate this one also, like blood controls animate deform shape
okay so it is deformed and it is showing animation in this way right let's stop this one and close it we'll go back to the front view again next one we want to see our shear force and bending moment diagram that will come from control plot line elemental response so for bending moment diagram we want to see sms smis 3 and smis 16 okay this is the bending moment diagram right we can uh, so validate this one with the theoretical results also let's see what is the theoretical results here it is showing that maximum value is here it is 0.337 into 10 to the power 9 newton millimeter if we convert this one into newton meter what it will be that will be divided by 10 to the power 6 right it will be 337 337 kilo newton meter let's see our theoretical results Theoretical results, it is also saying same thing, it is 337.5 kilo newton meter, right? We will see again another value, another value is this, here it is 0.119, 199, 10 to the 9. So if we convert this one into kilo newton meter, it will be 199 kilo newton meter, right? We will see that result, it is 200 kilo newton meter that is almost similar result what we are getting in theoretical case and ANSYS also is providing exactly same case, same values right we'll see now now we want to see the shear force diagram okay it will be coming from SMS 6 and SMS 19 okay let's see this one the values are we can see here it is 1,29,553 newton right if you convert this one kilo newton it will be 129 129.553 kilo newton 129.553 kilo newton and maximum is equal to 169 kilo newton you see our theoretical results 130 and 170 so the values are almost same and the results validated with this ANSYS mechanical epidemiology and better mesh in that case results will be better one right this is about our today's exercise if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye